Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and kind of jump into a mechanic that I'm sure all of you guys are aware of or maybe some of you guys aren't. Uh, but it is the mechanic known as shotgunning and or the new mechanic known as AOE overlapping. So for those of you guys who are unaware of what this is, it's basically when you take a projectile, typically like a projectile AOE, and it hits multiple times when it's not supposed to. So basically if you were to support fireball with GMP, you would have like a large spread, but you can still only hit one target with a fireball, right? But the explosion after the fireball, which is the AOE, which is why it's called AOE overlapping now, can still hit multiple targets multiple times. Previously, we could do this with projectiles before the AOE, which was called shotgunning, where basically you could stand in a target's face with fireball GMP, and it would get hit by all five projectiles. Well, the new thing, the new OP, which has been around for a little while, is basically the AOE overlapping. So to show you guys an example of what this AOE overlap looks like, it basically looks like this. So it can start as early as normal difficulty, as you can see from this video, and will persist all the way up to your time leveling to 100. This is a clip taken from three years ago, which I'll show you guys here in a minute. So the process of how it occurs is basically when you have a target such as this asshole right here, who uses something like a projectile with an AOE attached to it with multiple projectiles. That's pretty much one of the few instances it'll occur in. He went and used basically uh, fireball GMP. Now I have like one, two, three, four, five, like six, seven, eight, I don't know, seven SRS plus me standing here. So what happens is, is he slams the SRS, right? When he slams it, you can see that each minion took about a different amount of damage. Do you know why that is? It's because of the way it was positioned. The AOE from this minion is not hitting this guy, right? The AOE from this minion does not hit him, but this minion still hits this guy. This AOE still hits him and him. You can kind of see, it's hard to see the hitboxes, but you can kind of tell. You can see that the guy in the back barely took a hit because it only broke his ES because I'm running a discipline aura, whereas all the other ones got hit from at least two or three or four or however exactly how many went off. But me standing in the middle, I basically took the instant full burst and basically died instantly. Um, and of course, there are ways to, to stop this, right? I, I could simply just not be there. However, I feel like that's not a valid thing to say to new players. Like, oh, you died because you were out of position on a normal difficulty, not even boss. I feel like it's something that does need to be addressed at some point in time. And I believe they said that they were working on it of some sort. I don't know if they did. Before, this was only the case with actual projectiles. Now it's projectile AOE, which is if not more deadly than what it was before. So if you guys want to see a clip from this from fucking three years ago, here's exactly what it looks like from three years ago. Now, one thing I want to bring up is this is not an issue with just Path of Exile. This is an issue with a couple of games, actually. Um, off the top of my head, I know for a fact Grim Dawn has shotgunning in it, slash AoE overlapping, and I lost my, my max level hardcore character in Grim Dawn to something really silly, and I was like, well, this is like, what, what the hell is that supposed to be? Like, there's literally nothing I could do against it. And I actually messaged the developers, and uh, they were like, well, you shouldn't have been there in melee range. That's the boss attack. And I'm like, but but what if I was playing melee? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, are you telling me if I'm melee, I just die? So uh, that was also two years ago, and I'm sure they've addressed some stuff since then. Uh, actually, someone told me that they completely fixed shotgunning since then, but that's, that's irrelevant. Um, so yeah, this is a clip where basically this is an exile. You can see her using LMP lightning arrow, right? Well, what happened in this instance is that she went to go shoot and the AOE, like the back blow from Lightning Arrow, basically fucking destroyed me, hit the minions, which AOE'd off the minions. You can see the SRS kind of ran like into melee range here, I believe. I don't know, this is from three years ago. Yeah, they ran into melee range, which basically blew it off past me. If you want to know how much damage that did, my minions here have, I think I'm using Mantra Duels on my zombies, so they have probably like 12,000 HP. And they come, look, they just got instantly destroyed. Like, 12k HP, dude? It's like, a, I think this is a level 92 character. Um, and this is, I think this is a palace map. So it is quite high content, especially for back then. But like, look at these zombies, dude. They literally, like, they're taking no damage from those basic lightning arrows. Look at this. Look, she shoots him, does like, it tickles him. Like, nothing. All of a sudden, shock, boom, just dead. Instant destroyed. Um... So that's kind of kind of an unfortunate thing that occurs in Path of Exile. And I feel that actually 
prevents a lot of players from even playing summoners because a lot of like the high end players know that like this is it's, this is something that can totally happen. Like this is actually a common occurrence when you know say it takes you I don't know a couple thousand maps to hit level 100. Are you saying it's it's uncommon for that to occur one time in those 3000 maps or something, right? I guess it depends on the types of maps you're running whether it's like, you know, fucking strand or something else. Uh, but yeah, this is just something that's kind of kind of shitty. Now, there are ways to avoid this, and I, I may be incorrect on what I'm about to say here, so take it with a grain of salt. I do apologize. I'm not trying to spread any misinformation. But this is kind of a big reason why, myself included, um, I like to play block-based characters. I never played block-based characters in the past because I never really understood it, but sometimes there's just unavoidable damage that you're going to take. Like, it's not necessarily unavoidable, but it's near unavoidable, um, and it just you just don't think about it. You know, you can't always play perfect 100% of the time. But say, for example, I was using Bone Offering, right? Now, not this early, but say we're mapping, right? Bone Offering is basically a buff that will make it so... Let me just pull it up for you guys. Bone Offering... PoE. It's one of the three offerings that would give you block chance. So, or well, it's the only one that gives you block, but of the three, it'll give 35 block and 34 spell block to minions. Well, I'm pretty sure that if, for example, my minions were to block the attack or spell block the attack, it wouldn't even create, like, the AoE or anything. I could be wrong on that, right? But I'm pretty sure that it would completely cancel. So, say, for example, three of these guys block that attack, right? Because they blocked it, I believe, or spell blocked it because it's a spell, the skill would just stop there. Like, it just wouldn't even do anything. Or maybe it would, I don't know 100%. I guess it really depends if it's a projectile or if it's an AoE. Because if it's an AoE, I think if it hits, it's still going to do the AoE damage, potentially. Either way, though, I'll still get to roll against that with my character, um, I think. Unless AoEs are guaranteed, they just hurt you no matter what. This is kind of like the faulty mechanic where I don't know because I don't really play block and spell block too often so i don't even know if you can you can spell block that i'm gonna assume you can because if you can't then that's really dumb um but i i would say like that's definitely something i'm, I'm really looking towards um and i know like my zergle's crank character really or the blight character at level 200 really played around like the whole block mechanic where basically you get hit your recharge starts instantly um and uh, it, it really helped me through like a lot of bullshit kind of so this is kind of something i hope to see addressed i know some people like it some people are like well it's the added challenge that was your fault for standing there all right man if that's the way you play the game that's cool everyone plays differently i personally am strongly against mechanics like this because it's just kind of silly in my opinion to lose a hardcore character over something like this right like i got penalized for having too many minions and standing where they were like i don't know that's kind of i'm not playing an mmo i'm not fucking circle jerking a boss I'm, this is literally it's literally a guy I've killed like probably like 700 times. <laughs> but it's, it's irrelevant. It's just my opinion anyway. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about this AoE overlap slash shotgunning. Uh, I'm curious to know what you guys' thoughts are. But if you like the video, remember to please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Remember you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox as well. And I did set up a TwitchCon fund because I will be going there in, I believe it is like the 18th of October, the 20th of October. Somewhere there in October, so if you guys are curious... Uh, check that out because I will be there with my old roommate Zeno um, and uh, I can't wait to meet all you guys whoever's going I'm totally down for viewer meetups I'm not nearly as salty IRL than I am on stream so don't worry I'm not going to attack you dude that's what my that's what my current roommate said he's like dude you seem so salt on stream when I met you two years ago I thought you were going to yell at me when I first met you I was like nah dude it's uh, as the internet would say I'm uh, I'm called an internet personality, boys. You see, that's my fucking official title. You better you better call me that IRL, or else we're gonna have some issues. I'm gonna go call Fox News, okay? Um, yeah. Anyway, though, like I said, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I'll see you, boys, all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.